personal experience, a communion between my professional life and my personal life, as many writers do, of course. Um, you know, uh, many, many years ago, uh, I was a workaholic. I'll call myself a recovering workaholic now. And I was working day and night, weekends, holidays, nonstop. My family was carrying their hair out. I was having all kinds of uh, physical problems. Um, and it kept getting worse. Um, I, uh, though, felt like I was making a contribution and I was getting uh, raises and promotions at the university where I taught and people were slapping me on the back and congratulating me. And so I felt, you know, the denial was really strong, like with any addiction, uh, the denial in work addiction is just as strong as it is with someone who uses drugs. So is the high that you get from it. So if I'm getting high, if I'm in denial, and if everybody around me is telling me how great I am, then where's the problem, right? So that's why I call it the best dressed problem. Uh, because people a have actually seen it and extolled it as a positive thing. When I wrote this book, my goal was to attach a stigma to work addiction. And you notice I use the term work addiction and workaholism, but work addiction, uh, in, in my opinion, makes it sound a little more severe, which it is. It kills and it destroys uh, families and relationships. Mm -hmm.